Today we're going to look at six old school bicep exercises that are effective muscle builders, including a variation that Arnold Schwarzenegger did to help develop those famous peaks. First, we'll look at incline curls and compare them to drag curls, as both work the biceps in the stretch position. Both Arnold and Steve Reeves were fans of the incline curl, but it's not Arnold's forgotten exercise. That comes later in the video. Steve worked off a homemade wooden structure to achieve the correct working angle. In his second book, Dynamic Muscle Building, he said 45 degrees is the best angle. This position creates a stretch on not only the long head of the bicep, which is responsible for the peak, but also the tendon that attaches to the shoulder. And this is where we need to be careful not to overstretch this tendon, as it could cause an injury. I do this exercise at 45 degrees. But if you're new to it, you might want to set the bench higher, say at 60 degrees, especially if you've had shoulder issues. This is where the drag curl has an advantage. You're in that fully stretched position at the top, but you don't have a continual stretch on the tendon throughout the whole set. There's more and more evidence coming out that stretch position exercises build more muscle, so it makes sense to add these to your program. If your shoulders are healthy, I would make incline curls my main stretch position exercise, either at 60 or 45 degrees, and occasionally rotate drag curls in for variety and to give that tendon a break. I'm not sure what exercise I should compare this next one to. It's one I'm currently doing in my training, and it's a tough one. It was invented by an 1800 strongman named George Zotman. This curl works the brachioradialis in the negative part of the movement, and by the last few reps, it's all I can do to control the weight on the way down. You curl the weight up like a traditional curl, then once you reach the top, you pronate your hands, engaging the brachioradialis and reduce the amount of work your biceps are doing. The advantage of this exercise over, say, reverse grip curls is you can use a heavier weight and it really overloads the forearms on the negative. Anyone who's watched Pumping Iron will have seen this exercise. There's only a brief clip of Arnold doing it in the movie, and that's standing concentration curls. I like this movement better than the seated version, but both have pros and cons. In theory, one of the great things about the seated concentration curl is it's hard to cheat the move. This isn't really true, and I'll showcase another old school exercise that's much harder to cheat in a bit. When we have our elbow pushed into our thigh, it helps to keep from swinging our arm, but it also creates a lever, making the exercise easier, and you can cheat it with a slight rocking motion of the upper body. When you drop your elbow below the thigh, the move suddenly gets a lot harder, but the position becomes less comfortable. In the standing variation, you have your hips back like when doing a bent over row. You can still cheat the move with your legs, so you should be aware of this and resist the temptation. Arnold does something interesting on his last repetitions with this forgotten variation. Once he goes to failure, he pauses, sets the weight down for a second to recover, which allows him to get in a couple more reps. Next up is line cable curls, another exercise Steve Rees liked, and we'll compare it to spider curls. Both of these exercises have your arms in front and allow you to contract the biceps fully, making it a perfect complement to incline curls, which works the muscle in the fully stretched position. When I do line cable curls, and this is one you can also do with resistance bands, I curl the bar behind my head. This is an exercise that's near impossible to cheat, so I recommend it over spider curls if you have access to a cable machine or heavy bands like Toro bands. If you only have dumbbells to work with, spider curls make an excellent option even over preacher curls, which put your arm in extreme leverage disadvantage at the fully extended position and increases the risk of injury. With spider curls, the resistance is the lowest at the beginning of the movement and the highest at the top where you're the strongest. Old school trainers like Charles Glass recommend curling the weight up to the top of your head for an even greater contraction. Biceps only make up a third of your arm size, so if you want big muscular arms, you need well-developed triceps. Watch this video next to discover forgotten exercises that the old school greats used to develop theirs and keep working out while having fun. This is Lawrence from Fit and 50. We'll talk to you again in the next one.